Nick Yachty brutally beats his ex KKVSH. Do y'all believe that narrative? He's gonna hurt you. You can't even retaliate how the fuck you want because he's gonna sit there and hurt you. What the f is that? I left the house because this man is throwing things at me and talking bad about me and putting me down and I'm scared. So what am I supposed to do? Sister? If he did beat her, why is she still trying to work things out? I don't get that. It's not okay. People want to sit down and talk about KK, KK, KK to get views, to get likes, to get people on their side, to get fans. When we are both a team, we're supposed to be building up together, not breaking each other down. To my future princess and nieces, if a man ever beats on you, y'all are not a team. Get rid of him. KK, how many times has Nick beat your ass? Oh, all the time. Future princess, if a man hits you just one time and you truthfully know you didn't do anything wrong, get rid of him by any means necessary. Consider pleading temporary insanity or self defense because one day he's gonna say you made him kill you. KK abuses Nick when they get into arguments and treats him like a servant. Is another narrative that's also believable. Bro, don't play. I, like, I said what I had to say, KK. Half of you, yes, he helped you. I met Michaela when I was 16 years old. We were together until last December. In 2016, I told her, let me grow your page, which at the time had a little under a thousand followers. She believed in me and we both started our company, KKVSH LLC. Over the years, we have made millions with her being the face of the brand and me being the engine. We had our ups and downs while we were together. Nothing that I thought to record because I know her past and know she's been through a lot. We both aren't perfect. That girl has beat on me many times. I went through your car. Get your hands off of me. And I took it like a G. I'm not posting anything else about the citation, but I'm posting this to let y'all know no relationship is perfect. And a man should never put his hands on a woman. A woman should also never hit a man. But you need to, you need to do something with your employee. That's your employee, bro. I don't know how you put it. That's your employee, and you need to do something about that. If he's so unhappy, please. And why the f are we not doing nothing about it? Because if it was a girl, we would be happy. So what are we going to do about this situation? You're in your car right now, driving your away from the situation. You should be over there being his But you can't do that because why? Because tomorrow, you're going to have a black night because he wants to have hands on you. He's a He is your employee. He can never say that he made you. I went through your car. Get your hands off of me. That's two deadly, that's two deadly weapons. Two deadly weapons. You should have been left. You should have never came back. Go be with the you spent 10K on. Buy Go. Leave, leave. I'm leaving. You're behind my car with a gun. You need to back away, girl. You're trying to spy for me. I hate looking into another person's relationship because we'll never get the full story. But these two should not be together. I don't play those hitting games with my wife. I will always keep my hands to myself and she will always keep her hands to herself unless it's Mr. Nasty time. But who do you believe is more toxic, KK or Nick Yachty? Isn't it great they don't have any kids? I used to think this and I know some of us still think this. Oh, the relationship will be better if I had a kid. Watch this video right here to find out why having kids with the wrong person is terrible. Date with intent, y'all, and look out for red flags. They're all over the place.